got two accounts. Uh, you can follow me at, uh, at KingMe underscore DJ1. At KingMe? Yes, at KingMe underscore DJ1. How do you use Twitter? Uh, I use my Twitter now just to you know, interact with the fans, uh, let them know what's going on in our practices or during our day. Um, let them know, you know, maybe some humorous things I've seen going on on campus. And I, I think it's a great way to, you know, to talk to the fans and let them know what's going on in our daily lives. So basically, you don't need us anymore. You don't need the media anymore, right? Uh, <laughs> we still need you guys for some, some things. You, know, you guys can help us in a lot of ways. Like show the games. Yeah. Show the games. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that way. How did that North Carolina game last year uh, teach you anything? Uh, I think it taught us, every, taught us everything, not just little things. You know, uh, that's one of the main points we bring up every day in practice. You know, uh, you know that, that game you know, still stings a lot of guys in their heart. And deep down inside, I think we know what we have to do. You know, we don't want to be remembered as a sweet 16, 16 team. You know, we're going to be better than that. And, uh, for us to do that, we have to focus on what we can do, learn from our mistakes, and put them all together. Well, last year, you were one of the more unheralded players in the country. That's not going to be the case this year. I mean, everyone in the country knows who you are. Uh, you know, how are you going to be able to, you know, focus on a day-to-day -day basis, you know, knowing that right now you're not under the radar, man. You're, you're a target. Uh, for me, I think for me to be a focus day-to-day uh, -day is for me going and, going and practice and giving everything I got. You know, for me, if I can focus on that and concentrate on helping myself and my teammates get better, then it's, it's impossible for me to focus on my individual goals or what everybody thinks of me. You know, um, I haven't been one of the top players in the country uh, ever, so I take it on as just being an underrated guy. All this stuff about conference realignment, you know, Marquette's just a basketball school. How much have you been paying attention to? Uh, I have, to be honest with you, I really haven't been paying too much attention to it. You know, uh, I know it's going to affect the Big East tremendously. Um, it's something that a lot of people are thinking about. You know, I'm very skeptical about what's going to happen with that. You know, uh, but when Penn Turkey is leaving, it can hurt the conference. And, you know, it can take a, take a lot from, uh, take a, a lot away from a lot of teams. How, as a student athlete, how does it feel, you know, when you see what's going on with, with, with all the college athletics, how... It seems as if the student athlete is is not even being asked or considered in, in many of these decisions. What does that make you feel? Yeah, that's that's, uh, that, that's quite a problem. I would say, you know, being a student athlete, a fan of the game, a um, fan of just not basketball but all sports, um, it's kind of, it's kind of going to be kind of sad to see that it's, it's turning more business a lot. You know, they're not really thinking about what the student athlete really have to say. You want to get your point across as much as possible, but uh, I don't think it's ever going to happen. Now, what what do you feel? Uh, who's your favorite college football team? Uh, my favorite college football team. You know, I'm, I'm really liking Wisconsin. Are you liking Wisconsin now, just because they're good, or you've been a Wisconsin fan? I'm really liking Wisconsin because of uh, Russell Wilson. He's, uh, he played at NC State. And I'm from Raleigh, North Carolina, which is the hometown of NC State. And, uh, I'm glad to see everybody's finally noticing. He, he's been doing that ever since he was at NC State, so I'm just happy to see a guy like that doing that. Kind of a stupid move by Tom O'Brien to let him go. Huh? Uh, it, was, it was definitely one of those moves. Uh, <laughs> but, you know, NC State will be fine. How about Coach uh, playing for Coach over there? Yeah, he's ball of energy on the sidelines. How, how is that? How is he when, when the camera's not on him? Is he similar or is he low key? He's the same guy. You know, uh, uh, he's not one of those guys with the camera's on and off. He's two different people. And that's one of the things you know, I really like about him. Uh, he, he's going to be honest with you in front of the camera and off, you know, and off the camera. So that's one of the great things that uh, happen with folks like him. Uh, his energy is just as always at an all-time high. I think that feeds on his play. Thanks, man.